Ladies and gentlemen, back here with the four-time Super Bowl champion, Starsky Long. Starsky, real quick, let's go right back into, you just talked to Jackie about no pass, no play with your little league team, the Magnolia Sharks. First of all, let the people know if they want to become a Magnolia Shark, let them know where they're located and how you become a Magnolia Shark. As far as the Magnolia Park Sharks, I mean, we're, we're located at Mason Park, which is off of 75th and Lyndale. And uh, currently, I think they're getting ready to have registration as far as February. You can get with myself or uh, John Medina, Coach Medina from the Houston Wolverines, and we can give you all the information. If not, you can go on to the website, which is eteams.com backslash Magnolia Park Sharks. Eteams.com dot com backslash Magnolia Park Sharks. So tell us what type of organization is the Sharks? I mean, is it just football or do y'all do everything? Football, basketball, track, or in the community? It's strictly a football and cheerleading organization, but we're out there in the community where, you know, we're working, doing different fundraisers, we're doing different things with trying to better the community around us and keep a lot of the kids off the street. Okay, and, I, and I, you're very interesting because you want to keep the kids off the street. Why is it so important to keep the kids off the street these days? Well, I mean, you look at a lot of kids nowadays, I mean, they're coming out of single-parent homes. And I, you know, being a product of being raised by a single mother, okay. you know, it's one of the things that I look at. I look at how much trouble that I could have got into if it wasn't for my mom. You know, keeping, you know, keeping, basically beat me. Right. Right. You know, <laughs> I, I, I would have been on the wrong it path. Beat. It wasn't beat. You know, <laughs> it wasn't beat. Yeah. You know, those days it wasn't. But yeah, definitely. So I mean, I look at that, and it, it's too much out there right now that they can get into. Okay. You know, other than trouble. Okay. And that's one of the main things. I want them to know exactly what it is out there. There are all kind of organizations. There are all kind of programs. There are a lot of things that they can be doing to challenge their minds in a positive way. Once again, we're here with Starsky Long, the quarterback of the Texas Red Raiders, four-time Super Bowl champion. Starsky, one of your players, a young kid that looks at you, see you don't want for a Super Bowl. You're the man. When you step into the stadium, everybody knows the quarterback, Starsky Long. Everybody's walking up. All the women are looking at Starsky Long, talking about Starsky Long. Now, a kid is sitting back looking at that, and I want to be just like that fellow. I mean, what do you tell him? The main thing I'll tell anybody who tells me that they want to be like me, I'll tell you, be better than me. And that's one thing about it. You don't want to settle to be like somebody. You want but to you've be won four Super Bowl champions. You've been to six Super Bowl titles. Here in the GCFA, you have the rings and everything to prove it. Why wouldn't you want to be like you? Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's been a positive role model, but at the same time, I don't think that you want a kid to settle. You don't okay. want them to settle. I mean, that's the problem that we tend to have in a lot of situations right now, you know, you settle, you know, you feel that you're good, you feel that you've reached your potential when truly you have. Okay. So you don't want to settle. So that's why I'm always telling the kids, hey, don't be like me, be better than me. Okay. So So do you have any the world wants to know Star Skill on? Do you have any kids or you're engaged or you're married? So the world wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, at this time, no kids, okay. but I am engaged. Okay. Been together for 11 years, okay. so definitely. You married him, man. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, as you can point <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely I am. You know, she's been around the whole time I've okay. been doing this, you know, this football thing, so, you know, she's basically been in there with me with the good and bad, and I wouldn't change it for the world. So tell me, how does she deal with coming to the games, knowing that her man is football star, football god here in the GCFA, women looking at you, women talking to you, how does she deal with that on an emotional basis? She definitely. Let I mean, Jackie, Jackie asked this question. She definitely. <laughs> honestly, she. I mean, and she could have asked this question. I mean, we gonna break her back. <laughs> definitely with that. I mean, she wouldn't mind because she knows what she has, and that's one okay. thing about it. You know, she know she knows me. She knows me inside and out, and that's one thing about it. That's the relationship that we have. It's right. called it's trusting. Okay. You know, which you can you know you can bring that into football. It's about trusting the person. It's trusting your partner. Okay. So that's definitely not an issue with us. Let's go into the sports world. Tiger mm -hmm. Woods. Right now, he's in a rehab, if I'm not mistaken, for a sex addiction. All right, and you said it's all about trust. Where they look at Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods do it, Michael Vick, everybody's that caught mm -hmm. up into it. Mm -hmm. How do you keep yourself out of that loop? Definitely respecting my fiance. Okay. That's just point blank. I mean, you doing that, you have no respect. Right. And that's one thing about it. I'm big on respect. If I want respect, I have to give respect. Right. So, therefore, you know, doing those things that they do, that's disrespecting the person that you're with. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the NFL, is it bigger in the NFL than it is the GCFA? Well, I mean, I can't honestly speak for the GCFA. I mean, because I really don't know as far as what other people do. But, I mean, as far as the NFL, I'm pretty sure it's big there. I mean, but, of course, it's a big media outlet. So, therefore, right. it's talked about every day. Right. And it's scrutinized and it's put on paper. It's put in the emails. It's put in the, on the Internet and everything. Right. 
quite a bit. So tell me, how do you deal with women that approach you after the game and you know they know you have a woman and they're coming up and they're still trying to talk to you or tell you they want you to train their son to play football when you know they're making a pass at you. What would Star Stallone do in that situation? Pretty much that's a situation where if I pick up on that, it's just more, it's more about trying to pick up on me than okay. really me trying to help their child. That's a situation where I'll shoot that down because okay. like I said, once again, I'm not going to disrespect my woman. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's, that's a big thing. That's pretty good right there. But you know what? We're going to come, we're going to take a commercial real quick and I'm going to put them in the fire. We're going to have Jackie come back and ask him some real good questions. We'll be right back in just a few seconds.